I'm Rex McNeilson, here at the site of the most recent in a string of bizarre crimes from the assailant known only as the Tickle Monster. I'm here today with John, a 26-year-old stockbroker who was the most recent victim in the crimes. John, can you tell us a little about what happened today? Well, I was, uh, I was, I was standing in the bushes and uh, I, I suddenly felt someone's hands on me and all of a sudden he just, he just started tickling me. They say the tickle monster sneaks up on his victims and mercilessly tickles them until they either pass out, break free, or in some cases, even vomit. He was tickling me so much that I began to feel sick and uh, I vomited, vomited, vomited. Did you get any vomit on the so-called tickle monster? Unfortunately, no. These unwarranted and unwanted attacks have left his victims feeling scarred, scared, and slightly vulnerable. I'm absolutely shocked. I'm just shocked. And I feel like I'm, I'm starting to hate the world and I'm becoming very distrustful of people. And I've been doing a whole, whole lot of crying. When John was attacked, there was a puppet show going on in the park that caught the incident on tape. Let's take a look at the clip. Whoa! Oh, oh my god! What is going on? Oh, that poor boy! Oh no! Oh. Hey, you like that? Oh, horror! Oh, let's stop him! Horrifying. Just last week, Vinny Vinny Aziano was simply waiting for the bus when the tickle monster struck out of the blue. Vinny, what happened? I don't know, bro. I was just standing there, minding my own business, waiting for the bus. All of a sudden, this guy, he runs up on me, he starts touching me, bro. A little bit of tickling involved. I don't know, I didn't see too much. It was very strange. It was very tragic. What? What's tragic, Vinny? My spray tan, bro. The guy messed up my spray tan. I just left the salon, and now it's all blotchy. Oh, wow, that... That is tragic. You gonna reimburse me for this, bro? Chilling. There have been 14 of these reported attacks in the last three weeks. Just last Thursday, Consuelo de la Rodriguez was minding her own business, folding her laundry, when the monster struck. I was hanging up my laundry. Normal laundry. One shirt, one uh, jean, another jean, a, a pair of jeans. And then I just felt a couple of hands going up and on, on my fat. And I said, Ramon! My husband, Ramon, he hasn't touched me in uh, 20 years. He hands no stop. He hands no stop. And I passed out. There was a rock. I hit my head with a rock. My head has a bump. I look ugly now. Based on Consuelo's reports, we were able to reenact this crime of passion using professional actors. We warn you, what you're about to see may be unsuitable for some viewers. <laughs> Disturbing, mystifying stuff, even for a reenactment. Police are left baffled as to what is driving this cunning tickler. We are looking into the crimes. We are taking this very seriously. We understand that the public is on edge. We know that no one likes to be tickled. When I was a child, my brother Byron used to hold me down and tickle me until I peed. I never forgave him for that. As a matter of fact, when he was married last year, I didn't even go. That is how seriously we're taking this. And I will not rest until the tickle monster is brought to justice. This case is personal for me. I've never told anyone this before, but when I was a child, my brother Byron used to tickle me against my will. One time he even made me pee. It was terrible. So I have no tolerance for this kind of thing. No tolerance whatsoever. For some, the shame of tickling lasts a lifetime. Police say that there are no suspects and the tickle monster is still on the loose. While no one can be certain who this evil maniac is, one thing's for sure, no one's tummy is safe. 
For NBC Nightly News, I'm Rex McNeil. <laughs> <laughs>